the Record Linky Lab recently developed a fun app that lets you do indexing on your phone. So I'm going to demo that for you and let you try it out. So you just open up a Chrome browser, and up in the URL you type bit.ly slash rll underscore index, and we'll put that URL down in the comments section. Now we, we decided to adopt the Apple method, which is there's no instructions, you just have to figure it out. But what we've noticed is that when we hand this to a teenager, they figure it out very quickly. And it's a really neat way to index. So what we did is we, we used the machine learning algorithm to snip out the last name from a record. Then we used the machine learning algorithm to try to read the characters. And then we matched those characters up with a list of names that we knew to be correctly spelled. And so all the human needs to do is read the handwriting and decide which of the three options is the best match. And if none of them are a good match, they can still do traditional indexing and type it in themselves. But in this case, I think it's Bellamy. And then it immediately loads the next one. I can hit Lambert, Mao. Uh, this one's a little harder, but it looks like A-G-U-I-G-U-I. -G -G so that's this one right here. But notice that um, it just pulls me along. I didn't have to log in. I didn't have to check out a batch. I can do this as long as I want. And what we found is that once you get in a rhythm, it becomes pretty fun. Uh, and, uh, and every time you click a button, you're giving us information about what it should be. And that's allowing us to make the handwriting recognition uh, more accurate. Now, the, the neat thing is there are billions of records, images that have not been indexed. And so we would like to use this tool to try to index the surname in the image which will make these records searchable. So even if we can't index the whole document, by indexing the surname, people will be able to find the images of records for their own ancestors. And we're also coming out with a new version of this app that looks a lot like Whack-A-Mole. Uh, so feel free to leave us any comments or feedback uh, and visit our Facebook page so you can see some of the latest developments in what we're putting together.